Unit 4 Adventures in the Desert Let's read about an adventure trip that Suhani enjoyed with her sister and cousins. Suhani was besides herself with excitement. Her two cousins, Ankit and Aarti, were coming to spend a weekend with her. Aarti was 18 while Ankit was 15. Suhani's final exams were done and now she and her sister Ruby were worried about how to spend the vacations without getting bored, especially since the weather was neither too hot nor too cold. Suhani's cousins were fun to be with. They liked spending time with Suhani. They would take Suhani along with them to play football, hockey, basketball, etc. Even though she was younger than them, Suhani's parents always allowed her to join them, knowing fully well that Ankit and Aarti would take good care of her. Aarti and Ankit arrived that day in the evening, and the whole house was filled with laughter, joy, and many, many tales of Uti. So, when are we going to see the desert? asked Ankit. Ankit had been dreaming about trekking through the desert ever since he had heard about Suhani's father's transfer to a desert town. In order to really enjoy the desert, you will have to go for camping, said Ruby. And for that, you need to take permission from the elders. So, what are we waiting for? Aarti inquired. With a lot of enthusiasm and amidst much leg pulling, the cousins finally decided to approach the elders for permission. Votes were taken and Aarti was selected for the task of talking to the elders. Encouraged, Aarti approached Suhani's father for permission. Uncle, can we go camping in the desert? Aarti asked. The desert is very deceptive. Everything looks the same and it is easy to get lost, replied Suhani's father. But Papa, this part of the desert has many villages around it and we will not go beyond these villages, pleaded Suhani. Uncle, both Aarti and I have been camping since we were children. We have a compass and we have gone trekking in the mountains near our home, added Ankit. After great persuasion, the elders agreed to let the children go for camping and they started making preparations for the trip. They prepared the sleeping bags and packed packets of ready-to-eat food, biscuits and various kinds of snacks. It is easier to buy roti and vegetable curry from the villagers. So, don't pack too much food. Aarti told all of them, Do remember to take your water bottles. We will refill them at the points where filtered drinking water is available. The backpacks were made ready. The children hoisted them onto their backs. Can I leave some more of the stuff behind? groaned Ruby. The backpack is very heavy. Yes, I do not need two pairs of jeans. I can reuse the one that I am wearing, added Suhani. Do take some of the things, advised Aarti. We have to be ready for different challenges. The nights in the desert are unpredictable. We do not know what we may need. It is a good idea to keep some extras. Ruby tried moving around the room with her backpack on. Suhani's father dropped the children near the edge of the desert. I will pick you up tomorrow from here. Be here at 11.30 a.m. sharp, said Suhani's father. In case you need something, call me on the emergency phone. Take care. Yes, father. Yes, uncle. 
This was the adventure of a lifetime for Suhani and Ruby. They had never been allowed to go camping. This one time, they had been allowed to go only because of Arthi and Ankit. There is no plan, guys. We can do whatever we want, but we must be back here for the pickup," said Ankit. Nobody argued, as everybody was excited and wanted to start on the trip. They saw a camel cart coming along, so they decided to hitch a ride. They travelled for about two hours, and then, on reaching the interior part of the desert. They started to walk in the direction of the lake indicated by the driver. After walking for another hour, everybody felt that they were tired and hungry. They had started their trip early in the morning. It was cool then. Now it was hot, and they were finding it hard to walk. Each step was an effort. Are we there yet? Asked Ruby. Tired with exertion, come on, guys, do not give up," replied Arthi. The driver told us that there is a lake right after a couple of dunes. Yes, imagine bathing in the cool lake," added Ankit. All the children imagined bathing in the lake, and that helped them increase their pace. Ruby started towards a gentle slope and then jumped back. What happened? asked Arthi with concern. I saw an alligator. Deserts do not have alligators. Let me see," said Arthi. It was a baby alligator. I saw it. Arthi and others gathered around and started searching. Ankit saw a desert lizard running away at some distance. It is a desert lizard. Said Ankit, "They are harmless. They run on being disturbed." Just then, a breeze started blowing the sand around them. "Dust storm!" shouted Suhani. "Come on, a little wind and dust is not going to hurt anyone," said Ruby. "Oh, that's a lot of dust." Suhani and Ruby were used to dust storms. They had been caught in them. A few times in the market, or while returning from school, but there was something different about a sandstorm in the middle of the desert. Wow, a proper full-fledged sandstorm! Said Arthi. All the children closed their mouths and covered their eyes with scarves. They huddled together and tried to protect each other. There was no other option available. They had to wait for it to stop. After a long period of time, the storm stopped blowing. The children slowly shook themselves to remove the sand from their clothes. The sky was clear, and it was now late afternoon. The children once again started walking. Ruby saw the lake a little distance away. With a small village next to it, once they arrived at the village, they found that the people were quite friendly. They offered the children some water and put out small cots for them to sit down. When the children began to take out their packets of food, the village people brought them freshly made rotis and some vegetables cooked in the local style. This was quite delicious and refreshing. Gradually, the trekkers found their strength returning. After resting on the cots for a while, as the sun was going down, they explored the nearby dunes. Ankit was interested in photographing the sand dunes as they changed shape, size, and color with time. At 7 p.m., they had dinner with the villagers. And also shared the snacks they had brought along with them. It was then time to sleep. Suhani and Ruby wanted to put out their sleeping bags and sleep at the top of one of the nearby dunes, where a cool breeze was blowing. 
while Aarti and Ankit wanted to sleep at the bottom of the dune next to the lake. Sleeping at the top of the dune will be good in the beginning. But if there is another sandstorm, then you will be in trouble, said Aarti. At the bottom, however, it will be warmer to start with, but we will be better protected. Do we need a fire for protecting ourselves against the different animals and rodents? Asked Ruby. We cannot have a fire. Look around you. Wood is very scarce here, replied Ankit. Do not worry. Nothing is going to attack you. All of them were exhausted after a long day. They soon fell asleep. They exchanged notes on how beautiful the sky looked and how brightly the stars shone. Soon there was complete silence and they did not even hear the odd owl as it swooped down searching for prey in the sand.